The kinds of things that we're looking for when we come back to check their health and see how they're coping back in the wild are, you know, what kind of trees are they are they in? Are they choose are they making good life choices? Are they choosing good foraging trees? And have they chosen space with you know good crown so that they're you know out of the sun and, and protected? We want to see that they've got really good body condition. We don't want them to have lost weight or lost body condition, and just to be really bright and behaving normally. Today we were capturing the koalas for their health assessment. So this involved ascending the trees. Uh, we have an extendable flag which we use to encourage the koalas down uh, and then we hand the koalas over to the vets for their health assessment. Hello little thank you. Hi. Don't be grumpy. When I'm actually, you know, doing the health check, what I'm looking for is, you know, where they had those burns. You can still see scars; and little, the tissue's pink. And 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 how's that going? You know, is it healing? Is it getting stronger? Or you know, has it have have they developed little sores and and then nails and those sorts? You know, are they are their burns properly healed and are they really fully functional? Because they need to be. You know, koalas sit right up the top in the crown and they need to have all of their their digits functional. The koalas that we've seen so far are looking really, really great at home, in the wild, where they belong. The project hasn't finished. This is one month into a period of four months where we're tracking the koalas, you know, and we'll be back again to see them again and we'll see how their weight's going. So it's early days, but the signs are looking really good that they, they are, they're settling back in, they're coping, they're finding the right food. You know, they're wild koalas and they're telling us, thanks for that, we've got it from here.